How's it going? What do you want to do? I have to go to work. Would you like some more cake? Wouldn't you like to learn how to speak more smoothly in English? Stay tuned to find out some secrets for improving your English speaking skills and sound more like a native speaker. In order to speak more smoothly, you need to incorporate three things into your English speech. First, learn how to smoothly connect words in English. Second, get comfortable using contractions. And third, learn the words and phrases that commonly reduce in spoken English. As always, I'm talking about the characteristics of standard American English. You may find some differences in other English varieties. Now let me quickly explain each of the three topics I just mentioned. Then I'll give you several typical formulaic expressions in English. Repeat after me to drill these super common phrases into your memory. This will allow you to use these reduced and linked phrases in your speech so you immediately start speaking more smoothly. In my video, Linking and Connected Speech, you learned that there are three areas where words generally link together in English. If you aren't familiar with the rules of linked speech, I suggest you watch that video before continuing. First, there's consonant to consonant linking. In some more, notice how the two M's link smoothly together. Some more. Do not stop or pause between the two words and pronounce the double M only one time. Now take this sentence. Come with me. In this case, we're linking the final M in come to the beginning W and with. Come with me. So again, do not stop or pause at all between the M and come and the W and with. Come with. Come with. Consonants also link to vowels. In the phrase, how's it going, the final S in how's connects smoothly to the I sound in it. How's it? And note that final S's in English are often pronounced as a Z sound. So don't forget to turn on your voice, you can feel it right here, to convert the S, S into a Z sound. Z. How's it going? And lastly, vowel sounds link to vowel sounds. In the phrase, who are you going with, the final oo sound in who links smoothly to the following word are. Who are? Who are? Now the second thing you need to incorporate into your speech is contractions. Instead of saying, I am a teacher, I always say, I'm a teacher. Doesn't that flow nicely? It's so easy to say. I am a teacher is very choppy and unnatural and not so easy to pronounce as, I'm a teacher. And instead of saying, what is your name, say, what's your name? Contractions are a normal part of everyday speech. They're not incorrect, non-standard or lazy speech, but they are spoken English. It's not always appropriate to use them in writing. And the third thing you should become familiar with to speak more smoothly is reductions. Reductions are very similar to contractions, but are rarely seen in written English. Reductions are words and phrases that have evolved to lose some of their sounds, thus making it faster and easier to speak. Two common reductions you've likely heard are gonna for going to and wanna for want to. For more information on reductions, please take a look at my video, Reductions with the Schwa Sound. By combining these three speech elements, we can create easily repeatable speech formulas that will allow you to instantly speak English more smoothly and easily. Since in most conversations, we're either talking about ourselves 
or asking someone a question, I'll give you common formulas for asking questions and for answering them in the first person. First person refers to talking about yourself using I, such as I am, I wanna, I'm gonna, I have to. Now let's practice. Just repeat after me, matching my speech exactly. You may even want to close your eyes so you're not tempted to read the words you see. Let's get started. I'm a, I'm a teacher. I'm a doctor. I'm a business person. I'm a medical researcher. I'm a salesperson. I'm an, I'm an engineer. I'm an IT guy. I'm an accountant. I'm an English teacher. What's your, what's your name? What's your major? What's your phone number? What's your native language? What's your birth date? What's your son's name? What's your favorite color? How do you? How do you say your name? How do you spell that? How do you pronounce this word? How do you turn this on? How do you open this? What do you wanna? What do you wanna watch? What do you want to do? What do you want to study? What do you want to work on? What do you want to have for lunch? What do you want to eat for dinner? What do you want to do this weekend? You can easily use the same formula with other question words. Where do you want to? Where do you want to go for your birthday? Where do you want to go for dinner? Where do you want to go on your next vacation? Where do you want to have your party? Where do you want to take your wife? When do you want to? When do you want to leave? When do you want to go? What time do you wanna? What time do you wanna meet? What time do you wanna have lunch? What time do you wanna leave for the airport? What time do you wanna go to dinner? Who do you wanna? Who do you wanna invite? Who do you wanna go with? Who do you want to talk to? Who do you want to work with? Why do you want to? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to buy that? Why do you want to go there? Why do you want to see me? Why do you want to talk to me? Now to answer the questions, or to talk about yourself, you may need to say, I wanna. I wanna study computer science. I wanna watch a Harry Potter movie. I wanna talk to you. I wanna stay home. I wanna go to the. I wanna go to the beach. I wanna go to the mall. I want to go to the movies. I want to go to the store. I have to. I have to go to work. I have to pick up my kids. I have to go grocery shopping. I have to run some errands. I have to go to the dentist. I have to buy a present. 
Now you're one step closer to smooth speech. Listen to native speakers and notice if you hear other speech formulas. Have you heard any of these that I mentioned today or noticed any other reductions before? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Spoken English is not as hard as you may think. Once you recognize these super common speech shortcuts, you'll find it much easier to understand spoken English. And once you use them yourself, you'll find it much easier to speak and be understood. You'll finally sound like a native speaker. There are more reductions, but I'll save those for another video. Now, go out and try what you've learned today in your speech. Let me know how it goes. And thanks for watching.